Here we go again, back with more Pro Cycling Man, the season 2015, it's me, Jok007, and today we're doing the Tour de Romandie in Switzerland. It's a six day stage race, uh, just before the Giro d'Italia, mostly used as a kind of warm up race for the favorites for the Giro d'Italia, but this year we have a couple of other favorites as well, probably preparing more for the Tour de France this July. Uh, I'm going to probably pick this V1 version because I really like the look of this. Uh, the beer stage on uh, stage 5, that'll mean on Saturday. Once again, I've loaded all the start lists, so I've gone and gone through the start list and picked every single rider, so it should be exactly the same riders as who will be starting in real life, which means we will probably see me picking either Quintana or Froome, but there's a lot of strong riders in this race. But yeah, this is the profile. Two flat stages, two time trials as well. This is one of the only races with six stages and there's two time trials, that's pretty rare. We'll have two mountain stages, even though this one ends pretty much mostly downhill the last 20-30 kilometers, and the hill stage, which actually looks even more mountainous than the stage 4. But let's get into the first stage and pick a team. So as you can see here, we have, of course, I think 20 teams to pick from. There's only two uh, wildcard teams, Rothfjord, Swiss team on home, and we have Wanti Krupp-Gobert, who's done really well in the Aden Classics with Gasparto winning the Amstel Gold Race, of course. Also really impressed by uh, what's called about Pearls winning the Lisp Sunday uh, two days ago on Sunday. But let's see, what do we have? We have the biggest two names will probably be Nairo Quintana with 83 mountains, 77 hill, but he has worse time trials. I said there's two time trials here, so we have to be a bit aware about that. Sky with room, about the same mountains that I think they're exactly the same mountains that but a lot better in time trial, actually a bit better on hill stats as well. Other than that, the best one-two punch, I mean, Sky have Froome and Joan Thomas, Russell Mikhanyev as well, and uh, Kvitkovsky can also ride pretty well in the mountains, but the best one-two punch is probably actually BMC, who have both Richie Port starting and Tita Fingala, and that's two 80-plus riders starting, but other than Froome, Quintana, uh, Richie Port, and what else, Tita Fingala, I think we only have like one or two more uh, 80 plus mountains and I think that's Thibaut Pinot with uh, his 80 so I'm probably going to pick how good is the time trial 74 it could be very fun to try it but I don't think I can actually win with Thibaut Pinot it'll be very difficult to uh, to stay with Froome and Cotero I could try it for a challenge but I'm thinking of saving Thibaut Pinot for the Tour de France this July uh, of course on on Pro Cycle Man the 2016 so, and I'm also spoiler right now, I'm going to pick Astana probably for the Duty Italia because I want to have an Italian rider on, on the Duty Italia. I want to have a French rider, that's why I'm picking Pinot for the Zorvans. I'm going to pick a Spanish rider for the Vuelta Espana. So, I think there's only Nibali and Kuno go for Nipo Fantini. So, I'm probably going to pick Astana and Nibali for the, uh, what's it called, the Duty Italia. So, let's see, do I want to try with Quintana here or Froome? That's probably who I'm choosing between the crawl to go with BMC. I think I'm actually going to try with Froome because I'm rarely right with Christopher Froome and Sky. So let's try this. It could be pretty easy, but I deserve it. So let's get into the race. Stage one is a short time trial, five kilometers long. It's not actually a time trial, it's a prologue. I think Kwiatkowski is pretty good at these 76, 80 uh, for Kwiatkowski. Other than that, we also have, we have some pretty good riders. John Thomas is also 79. Froome is actually on the third best riders who could be uh, ending up behind Jaron Thomas after this first race. Let's get into the start of the race. Okay, first row of four riders have finished right now. So far we have two riders in the top 10. I messed up a bit with Jaron Thomas because he was the first rider out for my team. So I don't really, didn't really know what kind of pace I should set. I found out and I should go about 80 pace, 80% uh, is it. So I'll probably try around that from now on. But right now we have two seconds after Matu Uran who's first, Talansky. Uh, Tito Vengan, Lusan Sandis has also uh, yeah, gotten themselves in between us. But let's see here. Next up, Alex Peters, only 60. I think he's the worst on the team, so he'll probably come around 100th placed, something like that. Uh, Ian Stanley coming in 9th, which is pretty good considering his poor stats. Uh, the favorite for the stage was Tom Dumoulin ahead of Kwiatkowski. Then we had, I think actually, uh, Dion Thomas is the third favorite, and then Lusan Sandis before. Chris Room, so Rigoberto One has pretty much surprised both uh, Ruslan Sanders and what's it called, uh, Dion Thomas. You can see there's, there's this little downhill here which goes about 10-15% downhill 
and you can really gain a lot of the green energy here. So you can, if you're good enough, you can actually sprint here at the end. But Peter's here isn't really good enough, so he only comes in 84, actually better than I expected. Bit, but maybe not because only like half the riders have come through yet. So he's probably one of the, the 10, 20 worst riders so far. Next up is Mikhail Nieve, not really known as the best time to ride a good climber, but that's pretty much all he is. Don't think we'll see a pretty good result for him. Kwiatkowski is the, probably our best opportunity for a stage winner, unless uh, Froome is in great shape today. Once again, 63, a bit better than Peters, but I expect him to end up somewhere around Ben Swift's time here. You can see here that the blue bar moves a lot faster on the downhill here than the green bar because you don't really use any energy by going downhill at 80 here. So I'm not going to sprint here because Nieve doesn't have any energy to do so. And he comes in one second ahead of Ben Swift, uh, 75th place so far. Peter's now in out of the top 100. Uh, John Thomas still in top 5. No changes has been made in the top 5 for a long time actually. Bit surprised about that. Next up of course is um, Kevin Kwiatkowski. Didn't really do that well in... I then classic expect him to do better, but fortunately for the Team Sky, they had another rider stepping up, winning them the first monument ever, I believe. Uh, about Pearls, pretty impressive performance. I did not see that coming at all. I expected Rui Costa to win that sprint. Uh, Albizini looks stronger than all of them actually, but yeah, he just Pearls was just has the mo most energy left at that point. So let's see here, Kwiatkowski, foiling ahead of him, Amador. Behind him, you can see he's going fast. He's only 800 meters behind. He's going really fast. I actually think I can sprint here for the last 700, 800 meters here. Following up passes 31 seconds after here. Let's see Kwiatkowski's time. Will he take the lead? He will take the lead by two seconds ahead of one. You see, it's not that big of a time gap here, but Kwiatkowski taking the lead with only Tom Dumoulin remaining out on the out of the peloton. Dumoulin is starting. Where is uh, giant Elbison, not the giant Elbison, what am I looking at? Where am I just completely missing Tom Dumoulin? I think I am. I'm just going to let the time pass by because I'm apparently blind. Oh, there he is. I thought about giant Elbison, but I didn't, just didn't see his name. So he's starting like just before me. So I'm going to be right, riding with Chris Room just after Tom Dumoulin. Okay. For instance, of course, we have also the defending champion, Hilmar Sagarin. On the team, but I actually think he's not the captain. I think for Katusha it's uh, Spielak, yeah. Spielak is the captain, but Sagin is starting. He started first. Not exactly probably the best time. Actually, he's in 17, it's almost 10 seconds after, so a pretty decent time trial as well by Ilno Sagin. Pinot out, Hesedal out, all the captains, of course, going here last. Tom Dumoulin here, the favorite for today's stage. Starts out just ahead of me. Then we have Quintana and Marcel Kittel is actually the last rider to leave the start ramp. Which is pretty weird, but I don't know why. He's probably because he's the best friend, and they, they 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 do this sometime in the game. Actually, that's he started with a lot less energy, I believe, than some of the other riders with through. Hopefully, it doesn't matter too much. Dumoulin is going fast. I think Dumoulin might win this stage here. Let's see what time he can come in at, and we can look at Froome afterwards. One second after Gikowski, so I think that pretty much secured. Kwiatkowski to this stage win. Let's see uh, what time we can get Christopher Froome at. Hopefully a top 8 finish. Within these 4 seconds here, that'll be really nice. And hopefully we can gain some time already on Michael Quintana. He does come in that 4 second gap just after John Thomas. So they're tied uh, right now. Next up is Quintana. I don't believe... I think he'll probably come in at around 8-9 seconds after Kwiatkowski. Let's see. 21 seconds. That's actually like, quite a lot. More than expected, 17 seconds after already. Kittle seems to be pretty fast. 76 prologue comes in at 15th place, 9 seconds after. So we get our three biggest favorites in the top three. Kwiatkowski winning the states ahead of Jaron Thomas and Chris Froome. You can see the standings today. Tomorrow will be a sprint stage. We have been swift, but other than that, I don't really know. Uh, we just need to defend our jersey with Kwiatkowski uh, and get ready for the hills and mountains that is coming up in the yeah in two days and in the weekend. But yeah, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.